Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Slack with Zapier. First thing, uh, we have to create ourselves an account at zapier.com uh, or if you don't have one created already. And uh, let's go to our workspace. You can uh, find some kind of integrations at uh, Slack directly if you go to the top left corner of your workspace and hit those three buttons or three dots next to browse Slack and go to apps. As you can see, my apps are already uh, getting, getting integrated through Zapier, but uh, you can also pick from, for example, Google Drive, Twitter, Jira, Trello, Zoom, and so on. Uh, that's the first way how we can make this integration work, or we can go directly to zapier.com. Once we are here at Zapier, uh, we want to create an account. But don't worry, it's really fast. It's uh, without some unnecessary ads, uh, so you won't regret it. Uh, once we uh, we are finished with, with set up, set up our account, let's go to the top left corner and click on this black uh, button, make a zap. Zap stands for integration. Name your zap, you can name it like, uh, for example, Slack to whatever, it's completely up to you. And we have to now set up a trigger. The trigger app will be obviously Slack trigger event we have to pick from many that Slack is providing uh, for us but let's go with the first one we hit continue now we have to log into the account that we created before so this one continue and now uh, we just have to uh, I confirm that there's no bot or message or messages if yes or it's no but we don't have any so let's hit no, continue, and now we can uh, test the trigger. Or we can jump straight to the second action. On the second action, there will be the app actually triggered by Slack. Uh, so it could be Monday, Pipedrive, Gmail, ClickUp, for example, or Notion. Let's, let's go with a Notion like this. You can always... Uh, choose the app that you're going to integrate to like Gmail or so, but I said Notion, so let's go with the Notion. Uh, now also we have to pick the action event like this. We hit continue and now we just have to uh, choose an account and that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.